with Walking Dead, because you talk about being an actor in Georgia, I mean, that did bring a, a ton of attention to that area for filming. That show, you know, you came in on season seven. That show is like to horror what, I mean, Seinfeld was to comedy. I mean, it took over the world, <laughs> you yeah. know, it, it's, it's a huge show. Coming into it at that point, um, how did that feel? Like, like landing a role on a landmark television series, you're seven seasons in the entire nation watches that show religiously. Um, yeah. What were the emotions there? Um, I, I mean, it was my first couple of days were actually pretty amazing because so the, when the I came in, what we shot it as episode 703, it became 702, but uh, the only series regular at that point was that we were working with in the, those first couple of scenes was Lenny James, who is fucking awesome. <laughs> I yeah. love that guy. And he, uh, you know, I, he, he was in snatch and I, I had, I just love that movie. And, but the, the nerves were a lot. Uh, it, it was very, it was, it was a, a big relief, I think to be walking into a show like that, that you, you knew had this notoriety and then realize, okay, everybody else is new, so we're all yeah, we're all thick as thieves now, and even, you know, even because all the having, other saviors were in those scenes in the beginning. Yeah, so like Jason Warner Smith, who is an Atlanta actor who played Gavin, he we got really close through that process, and then Kari and Cooper, Carrie, um, you know, Logan, who I kill, who played Benjamin. Um, that everybody was having, they hadn't been established on the show because the kingdom mm -hmm. and our group of saviors hadn't been established yet. So we were, in, we didn't know what was going to come. Sure. Um, and, and so that was really, really, really nice. And, and it made things very, uh, you know, very easy on that. Yeah. Um, but it was, you know, it was kind of terrifying. Like, I think I, I knew I had wanted to work on the show. I, 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 like I said, my dad was going through health stuff and I didn't really love watching dark stuff at the time. I was, you know, I sooner watched Great British Bake Off or, <laughs> right. you know, um, Bob's Burgers or something. And so um, I, I wasn't super familiar with the world of the show. I had read the comic books and had seen the first season. Um, so some of that too, I, I think sometimes, you know, like when you work with big actors or you work on big shows, sometimes the scariest thing can be like watching their work, falling Comparing. in love with it. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then you're like, you clam up when you meet them or you, you, you know, you're working on it. Cause you're like, Oh, this place is this, everything is so cool. Like yeah. it's exactly how I imagined it. And then I just want to talk to you about like your amazing performance and they're, you know, whatever, going to crafty and, well, and you have Greg Nicotero, who's the executive producer of the show, directing you. <laughs> so you're, you're not yeah. even getting some newbie director. You're getting someone who's part of this well-oiled machine at this point. Yeah. This, and I, I had spoken about this a, a bunch, too, because I it, it was so cool because we were establishing characters and Greg was there to, to be like, OK, you know, uh, that's cool. That's not cool or whatever. And for me, yeah. he was he, he you know, I was playing a, a pretty douchey character and so he kept kind of like upping the the stakes he, he kept kept telling me to you know really lay into that oh yeah keep doing do more in that direction and so when the showrunner executive producer or what a producer executive producer co-creator you know I, 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 those <laughs> folks are uh handling that stuff and giving you direction you're like oh, okay this is gospel like i yeah. don't you know whoever made uh, you know, whoever may come in next in line in the, in the uh, director's chair. Um, I mean, like Greg told me this to is do this. how yeah. he wants the character, you know, portrayed yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, um, I, I wanted to ask, I had heard you on another podcast talk about Greg kept telling you to amp up, you know, how villainous you were. And um, yeah. I, I messaged my mom yesterday and said, Hey, I'm doing this interview tomorrow. I'd been watching a bunch of your movies and, and, you know, really good research, you know, getting to look, look Thanks, through a man. bunch That's of different cool. movies and watch, watch yeah. some of your episodes. And I asked her, I said, do you have any questions? And she only wrote back one, one question. She said, did the directors give him motivation to explain why he's such a wang in the show? That was her exact quote. 
yeah, it's funny because I, I was thinking about this the other day. You know, well, uh, you know, you, I, I, have, I guess I have developed my particular brand of like douchery, and I, and I didn't realize that. I, you just never know like there's because yeah. it and, and that's like an amalgam of actors i've loved and bullies who were terrible to me yeah. and f- being terrible to other people and seeing how they responded to that thing not intentionally but just you know being a piece of shit and not realizing it or whatever right, right. Like that you, you know you you do you do have a brand of kind of every everything you put out and so my brand of like douchebaggery um i guess yeah, I, I guess can get under people's skin. And I realized that too, like, you know, anybody that yeah. has brothers, like you, you develop that thing pretty quickly, especially if you're a younger brother and uh, as a younger I brother, I, I know I, it's, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. But it, it's to me, that's the best characters in these, um, especially in zombie movies, you know, and I, I don't know, I'm sure you've watched George Romero's movies and, and, you know, work on walking dead, at least, I, you know, I'd hope so, <laughs> you know, getting, getting in a, Oh it's man. Tough, man. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, like you look at these characters who, you know, they're not going to last through the series, you know, they're going to get their comeuppance in a big way. And yeah. it's so fun watching, you know, a, a day of the dead and, and watching Joe Pilato's character, you know, eating the scenery and, and being this very villainous character because it makes the death so much more satisfying. And, um, and it's, it's funny looking at YouTube comments on any clips of you. It's like, I, Oh, I hated him more than Negan or, Oh, I, I I couldn't wait. And you watch the death scene and Oh, it's so satisfying, you know, but it's, it's proof that you did your job in that role in such a, such a cool way. And, you know, you made it through two seasons in various episodes, which is a long time to survive in that show. Did you have any idea that you'd become such a mainstay character or when you signed on, you, you could have been gone that first episode. Yeah. I don't think they knew. I don't, I don't know. Uh, (laughs) And I, and I'm, and I constantly think, well, not constantly, but I occasionally think, um, you know, if I would have played my cards a little, a little, like uh, a little different, I may still, you know, be able to be around, but I, I had no idea it, when I read for the thing I read for Gavin and Jared and, and also mm-hmm. a handful of other characters on the show. I, I had read, I think maybe 17, I think I looked up one at one point, I think it was 17 different times mm-hmm. that I had read for walking dead starting wow. in season three. And, um, yeah, finally booked Jared and, and it said may recur. <laughs> and, and so we knew, we kind of knew after our first scene and, and how, um, kind of intense that scene was that we would likely recur, but they kind of, you know, for actors who are just getting on the show and maybe kind of in these smaller roles, they just kind of give you a big window. And so it's like, it was essentially the, the whole window of the, the shoot, which mm-hmm. is a, whatever, I think they shoot for nine months shooting yeah. 16 episodes and um, you know, it just had no idea. So it was kind of like, Hey, you know, touch and base with, cause I, <laughs> I worked, what was shot is 703 and then didn't come back until 710 and 713. So that was basically a two month gap where I'm like every day stressing, texting my, my team, like, Hey, you know, have y'all heard anything about this? Is right. Am I coming back? Like I would love to come back. It seemed like I was going to come back. Maybe they forgot about this very important storyline that we need to re-examine, you know, yeah. um, anything that you could do to force their hand. And uh, you know, I, I really love doing it. And then when I made it out of season seven and I wasn't dead, I was like, Oh, this is great. Like I'm, yeah. I'm coming yeah. back. And, um, and then once it started getting to the end of season eight, I was like, Oh shit, this is, <laughs> Oh man, I'm going to make it, you know? And yeah. then of course you get the call from Scott Gimple and he's, I had to ask him to somewhere along the line, like, should I leave any kind of, should I try and tie in any sort of like redeemable quality to this? Yeah terrible guy and uh because you pushed for that right to redeem the character in some way or oh or i mean a... anything to stay on a show like yeah. that because it, it was so cool i mean it really was so 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 cool and i'm i was frustrated like i'm saying that you know everything is you 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 have all this training and you you get all the you know all the the kind of jitters out working a couple episodes and the excitement and then um 
and you still, even when you, you have like a big episode, like 814, my death episode, the, the, t- the turnaround was relatively short. So I got my, I only had about a week or so to work on all that material. And I was watching, I was, I was cutting a new reel. So I cut a, a reel, I try and cut a new reel like every year. Yeah. And I was watching through my stuff on the show and I'm like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you doing? You fucking dunce. Like you had such an opportunity and there's, and, and really that's the wrong way to think about it. It's like, sure. Cause I, even, even when you're saying line, sometimes you're like, oh, I'm not connected to this. I don't, this, this isn't exactly how I, I I'm not feeling it. I'm just saying something, you know, um, yeah. so, long story short, I, I just, I think I left some, you know, uh, some stuff on the table there. When you get that call saying, Hey, you know, we've got to kill you, uh, for the story. We're taking it this direction. Was that a gutting thing to think like, okay, this is it. And ha- then having a week and a half to to close it out. Did you feel like frustrated or disappointed or was it just, you know, another day at work and then, you know, on to the next? No, it, it was, um, I felt, I felt complete gratitude that mm-hmm. I had been able to stick around that long and, and had been able to had the opportunity to get under people's skin and, and yeah. to have, cause I had three episodes in season seven, I had 11 all together. So seven episodes in season eight and you know, it, it's, a, it's amazing to be an actor of, of my level mm-hmm. when you get something that's recurring and you can count on a job and, you know, you don't get killed off and you can come back to something and see all those same people. And it's a friendly mm-hmm. atmosphere and, and a creative atmosphere. It's just so cool. And so I was so happy and so gracious that, that, uh, you know, the powers that be let me do that for so long or yeah. whatever, two years. And it's like, yeah. and, and they, you know, the gift, I think they realized too, what a, what a gift it is because i was able to do conventions and that's a yeah. nice you know part of you wants to hang on to it and that's just i just recently like unmoved like our unpinned something on my twitter it was a yeah. walking dead kind of gift and i was like man it's been i've been off the show since whatever 2018 like yeah. i that's you know it's time to move on man you know you, you can yeah. you can do other stuff and you are doing other stuff yeah. celebrate that stuff and uh, you know, but it, it was such a gift. I, I didn't feel any sort of animosity or any like, oh man, I, sure. I was, yeah, I thought I was going to maybe work two episodes. 